sleeping and knowing and tell somebody that Jesus is my savior and he can be your savior too. Not my nigga, huh? but you've been in slavery so long. Huh? The now they got us killing each other. Huh? The way they treat us. Huh? Now we treating each other the same way they treat us. You know what I'm talking about here. The devil got you in mental slavery. Huh? He got you cutting yourself and getting on drugs huh? and getting on marijuana. Huh? Because every time you get depressed, huh? you begin to drink alcohol. Huh? Every time you get depressed, huh? you begin to drink beer huh? and moonshine. Huh? But Jesus Christ got something better than moonshine. Huh? And that's himself. Huh? He can make you shine. Huh? By saying, let your light so shine. Huh? And that others may see your good works. Huh? That the Father may be glorified through his son Jesus. Praise the Lord. We've been through slavery down to the ages of time. Every time God has raised up heroes. Amen. To rebel against the white races. Many of them got murdered and killed just for taking a stand. Amen. Because they wanted to be free. What's wrong with wanting to be free? We have no right to try to enslave each other just because of somebody's skin complaint. If you hate black, then it make no sense to wear black shoes. Oh, come on, somebody. And that's black. If you hate black, it make no sense to wear a black suit. But see that to me, this thing go beyond just a man being black, a woman being black. Maybe there's jealousy somewhere. Because the black race is very gifted. And maybe you're afraid of the black race is going to take over the nation. First of all, it's not our fault that we're gifted. God has gifted many white people too. Huh? Like he gifted many Chinese people and Asian and people. Huh? You must understand that God gave gifts in every race. Huh? And God ain't got no respected person. Huh? Stop worrying about it. Somebody gonna take over your country. Huh? See, that's what's wrong with America. Huh? We're trying to take over this one and take over that one and try to control this one and control that one. Huh? And not just only America, but many of you other countries. Huh? Trying to control each other. Stop trying to control each other and love one another. Another. Whoa, I praise the Lord. See, I don't want to control nobody. I don't want to put nobody in slavery. See, because when you love one another, you don't try to put each other in bondage. Praise the Lord. But you encourage each other. And tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, no more slavery. Praise the Lord. I refuse to be bound. I refuse to be bound by witchcraft. You see, back in Africa, way before the white man came to enslave us, Praise the Lord. And black people was already enslaving each other. Huh? It was called the Bidding Tribe. Huh? And they was the warriors of Africa. Huh? Praise the Lord. Huh? And they was even enslaving each other, even in Africa. Huh? That's even going on right now. Blacks are working with witchcraft against each other. Huh? And you're trying to put curses on each other. Huh? You're trying to put each other in slavery. And the white man is not even doing that. You're doing it to each other. Huh? Even down in Chicago. Huh? Where Al Capone started the gang violence, huh? even in Africa, huh? or rather even in Chicago, you got black people killing each other in gang violence in Chicago, doing the same thing. You know I'm telling the truth. Thank you, Missionary Bashilla, huh? my lovely wife. Huh? You know I'm telling the truth. You got blacks killing each other even in Chicago, huh? doing the same thing the white man, the white racist is doing. I'm not saying all whites are racist. We're talking about the white racist and why the white racist sit back and watch us kill each other and laughing at each other. They want to divide and conquer. And guess what? Even in the church. Hey man, you're trying to st you're stabbing each other in the back. Huh? You're trying to put each other in slavery huh? because you want control. Huh? Because you want power. Huh? And no, 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 the devil is a liar. Huh? I want God to be in control. Shh. Oh, hallelujah! Huh? Praise the Lord! Huh? And many of you got mothers huh? and fathers that have been sexually abusing you. Huh? I see a young lady right now. Huh? You got abused by your father huh? and your nasty father. Don't want to. See you're getting married. Oh, oh Lord, Lord, Lord. I know I'm getting deep right now. Oh, Lord. I feel the Holy Ghost. He don't want to see you have a man in your life because he's lusting after you. I'm getting deep here now because he has that perverted spirit. He want to put you in bondage. And many of you women got beat up by your husbands. Amen. He has a controlling spirit. He wants to make you a slave even in your own house. How many times you've been a slave, even in your own house? 
Amen. You got chains on you, even in your own family. Praise the Lord. Never stay in an abusive relationship. And you got many of you women that putting your own husband in slavery. You don't appreciate the man that God has put in your life. You have a Jezebel spirit. Always starting fights with your husband. And don't appreciate him. And pray you need the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is Jesus Christ. Amen. That will put love in your heart. And now you got some nerd that want to go run into a bishop, T.D. Jake Coffin, so he can tell you, woman, dog, loose. Yes, God wants you to be loose. But then you're causing your own marriage to mess up because you have a controlling spirit. But tell the devil, you a liar. I'm going to stay on fire. Ain't that right, Priscilla? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Don't let nobody put you in bondage. Because Jesus said, who the Son has set free, ha, he is free indeed. Ha. All the devil wants you to do ha, is go back into bondage. Ha. But it's why God gave you the Holy Ghost, ha, to tell the devil, you a liar. Ha. I'm going to stay on fire. Ha. I'm not going back into Egypt. Ha. I'm not going back into slavery. Ha. I'm going to stand fast. Someone say, stand fast. Oh, in the liberty ha, where we Christ had made me free. Ha. And the Bible said, be not entangled again in the yoke of bondage. Ha. Come on, tell somebody, ha, no more slavery. I feel the Holy Ghost. Jesus came to set you free. Huh? We have suffered in racism too long on this earth. Huh? And many times God has raised up black leaders. Huh? He raised up organizations like the NAACP huh? and Rosa Parks. Huh? Amen. Who stood against racism. Huh? She told that racist demon. Huh? Amen. I'm not going to move out of this seat. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ha. You may nugs, but I'm not going to bugs. That rhymes. I like that. That's the kind of attitude you must have towards the devil. Ha. Amen. He's trying to get you into bondage. Ha. But you must look that demon in the eye and say, Satan, you a liar. I'm not born to be a slave. Ha. I may have been born into slavery, ha. but I'm not born to be a slave. Ha. Because Jesus came to deliver me and set me free. Ha. I feel the Holy Ghost. Ghost, or, oh, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost uh, this morning right now. Huh? God want to set somebody free from the sexual abuse that you suffer in the past. Huh? And many of you got beat up by your husbands. Huh? And many of you got sexual abuse as a girl. Huh? I'm talking to somebody right now. I don't know who you are. Huh? But I hear the Lord say, Jesus want to deliver you today. Huh? He want to set you free this morning. Huh? He want to bring you out of mental slavery. Huh? He want to bring you out of spiritual slavery. Huh? Because sin is what keep you into bondage. Huh? When well, you got jealousy in the heart, right there you in slavery. Huh? When well, you got hatred in the heart, right there you in spiritual slavery. Because it's sin. Huh? And sometimes unforgiveness can keep you in bondage. That's deep right there. Because sometimes it's not always easy to forgive huh? because people have digged you so wrong. Huh? There's a lot of people who hated me were out of cause. Huh? Just because I had the anointing, huh? I feel the Holy Ghost. And many times folk want to keep you in bondage. They want to get a bad name on you because you have an anointing upon your life. Huh? Like they hated Jesus were out of cause. Huh? But the Lord said, Father, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Now, let me tell you something. Forgiving the enemy doesn't mean to connect with the enemy, because they ain't got the right spirit. Come out from among them and be separated, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will be your God, and you shall be my people. But as times, God may tell you to forgive. He said, bless those.